What is going on guys? Hope everyone is doing fantastic today. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create your very own Facebook Pixel ID. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about how to set up your very own Pixel uh, through Facebook. And if you guys don't know what that is or why it's important, it's pretty much going to be one of the tools used for you to track your ad campaign progress to see what's working along with conversions, sales, uh, clicks, cost per clicks, and pretty much seeing what is going to be working for you guys when split testing a bunch of different ads on Facebook and then inputting that pixel ID number into the platform that you'll be using just so that you can get a better understanding of what's working for you and what is not working for you. Create a business manager account and that's very simple. So you'll just go ahead and if you don't know how to get to that, you can just go ahead into Google and type in business manager account setup. Step one is going to be selecting business settings in your business manager. And next, what you're going to go ahead and do is select your business that you're going to be wanting your pixel created for. Following that, you're going to go down and you're going to see that it says data sources. So you go ahead and click on that. Following, you'll see another drop down tab where it will say pixel. So you're going to go ahead and click on that as well. Once you've went ahead and selected pixels, you're going to click on the add tab, which is going to allow you to then name your pixel. So go ahead and name your pixel, whatever you'd like it to be to keep track of it in specific, especially if you have multiple businesses or you'd like to create multiple pixels for different web pages. And then once you do that, you go ahead and click continue and you will have a Facebook pixel generated for you, which will then allow you to go ahead and integrate it to your online store where you'll then be able to track the progress and monitor how effective your Facebook ads are working for you. It is going to give you an option to add your business URL and so you can go ahead and do that. It is optional. However, you can just go ahead and do that just to simplify the process and have everything all in one spot. And then following that, if you'd like to take that pixel that was just generated for you, you can then click set up pixel now which will then prompt you into the steps of integrating that pixel into your website. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope I was able to help you guys out when creating a Facebook pixel. And if there's anything that you'd like to know in detail, you can definitely leave it in the comments down below. But for now, that's going to be all. And I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.